Welcome everybody to the first recording. Yes, we are not streaming this time. Maybe we'll continue not to stream, maybe we'll switch back to streaming, but for now, welcome to the first recording of Phoenix Wright. We are working on whatever the second game is. I don't remember the name, but we'll see it when we pull it up. I'm your host, Kiba, aka the Keybladed Assassin. I have here with me the smart, I mean the intelligent, because that's a better word, the masterful forensic biologist, Miss T, here to give us all the the, the wheelings and dealings of American uh, crime. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> are you finished? Never. Alright, all right, so we are playing Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. You sure this is the next one? Yeah, it's the next one. Episode 1, The Lost Turnabout. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> How did I get into this what mess? What the hell he are you doing? <laughs> I was huffing. Alright. Oh, that's right, it's the judge. I didn't remember this. Oh. Oh. Well then, I actually know how to make that effect in the background. Nice. What? What have I done wrong? It's I him. can't allow you to go on like this. But I'm just a simple defense attorney. Why is the An deal? ace attorney. Silence. You are no longer worthy of your title. Why is the judge the suspect, the subject of his nightmare? Not even Edgeworth, but the judge. Because the judge determines whether he succeeds or fails. But the judge is a dumbass. Yeah, I wouldn't that, be intimidated by this the, man that's at the all. Worst part. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? What a terrible ringtone. I mean, that's what he's looking at. What a nightmare. And I bet it was his ringtone that caused it. Oh, your big ass brick. <laughs> I really shouldn't be dozing off right before his trial starts anyway. As the phone rings and he don't answer. Huh. Looks like they hung up. Cause you were staring at the phone. Oh, oh wait, oh, I guess I'll... Uh, oh, well, I late. Did not know. <laughs> that was all you did. Oh, yeah, well. I still do. I don't, I haven't thought of a voice for them, it's going too quickly! I can't stop it, you better be so. Oh my god, no! I'll think of a voice for them later. <laughs> I'm sorry, I this wasn't ready. <laughs> ah, my head is throbbing. Uh, uh, and why does it feel so foggy in here and there? <clears throat> good morning. Ah, uh, good, good morning. What's wrong? You don't look well. People are at their best first thing in the morning. Where's that fighting spirit? Not oh, everybody. Right. Sorry. <laughs> but can you please turn the cheeriness down I am a little? I am utmost worst. <laughs> my head sort of hurts. <laughs> oh, that hurts. God. Yeah, she's hitting hurt. it hard. They're right. hitting it hard, too. Damn. Oh. Roger that. Um, am I in trouble or something? Uh, trouble? Oh, wait, never mind. You're a policewoman, right? I thought maybe I had done something wrong. What are you talking about? I'm the one in trouble. Huh? I, oh, I need bird. Okay. I'm placing my life in your hands today, Mr. Phoenix, right? Makes sense that her name is Bird. He's quite chip. I, mean, I know that. that, 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 that is. Is. <laughs> Life in my hands? You promised me. You said you would prove that I was not guilty. N not guilty? Just when I thought all hope was lost, when all the other lawyers had laughed me off? Leave it to me, you said. You, the one and only Phoenix Wright, came to save the day. I like how he's the one and only now. Well, these is the only. Is there any other ones? <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, I was moved to tears, sir. I'll never, ever forget what you're doing. 
doing for me ever. What is this girl babbling about? Actually, I would. I really love to watch court proceedings, and I always root for you to win. No, I gotta fail. it. When I'm off duty, I have to come here and. What's wrong? You've been acting really strange, and you keep staring at me. <clears throat> Who are you talking to? Me? You're making me kind of nervous, sir. Oh, sorry. Hmm. I'm afraid to ask, but here goes. So this uh might sound bad, but uh, who are you? <clears throat> what? Mr. Wright, how can you say that? How can you do this to the fragile part of a girl that's going on trial? You're absolutely horrible. No, I mean, I didn't mean it like that. It's is this how a defense attorney treats his clients, sir? Yes. I can't believe this! I'm pretty bad. No, it's just... Uh, well, I think you have the wrong person. This music sounds familiar. Uh, I'm... Yes? I'm? I'm... Who am I? Why am I drawing a blank? The trial will begin shortly. Will the defendant and her lawyer please proceed to the courtroom immediately? Yeah, they really about to make you walk in here blind, bruh. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you can still see. The trial's about to start! I'm counting you on- I'm counting on you in there, okay? I wouldn't count on that man for shit. He just said he don't remember who he is. And he got to... Hmm. Guess I must have amnesia. Let's see. What can I piece together? My lawyer's badge! Oh no, his Oh wait, yeah, those might not be his glasses. Those yeah, are... those are those are not his glasses. Okay. I mean, maybe he needed some glasses once. Huh. So it's not his phone. Mm. Broken, oh poor Dustin. Broken neck. A lot he was also covered in. He's a police. Not terrible. This is decent. So decently big. I guess it, I mean she <laughs> But yeah, she is twenty two. He looks like one of those upstanding ones, so I feel like he was snooping. Those he... upstanding ones? Yeah, where he was snooping where he was trying to be helpful, snooping where he wasn't supposed to be. Oh, so you mean you mean like up. um Neil Marshall. Kind of, yeah. yeah. If y'all don't remember Neil Marshall, go watch the vibe before he disappears. <laughs> From the sound of things, probably safe to say that I'm a defense attorney. How is he gonna remember all that law, but <clears throat> but like not his memories? And that girl, I mean, hey, I'm using works in special ways. About to go in there, bullshit. As always, <laughs> I said I'd prove her not guilty. I can't believe I made such an irresponsible promise. I would never do such a thing. Ah! Someone, please! Tell me this is just a bad dream! How do I get the feeling? This is one dream I won't be waking up from. Because it's not. Yes. Yikes. September 8th, 10 a.m., District Court Rule. Oh, we've got the, li the loser jet. Or. Oh, this Loser music is different. It is. It's different music throughout the, the game so far. Court is now in session for the trial of Maggie Bird. <laughs> the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. He still has a job. I mean, he only <laughs> lost. He's the, yeah. Even if he's a bad prosecutor, it doesn't mean he's like out of the job. I, yeah. He's huh? not, you know, perjuring evidence or anything. Tampering with evidence or mm. killing people, you know, he's a good lawyer as far as that goes. A good bad lawyer. Yeah, morality. He's he's pretty dang good. <laughs> 
What is it, Mr. Wright? Oh, you remember my name this time. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, are you talking to me? Do you see any other defense attorney? Uh, offense. <laughs> defense attorneys? I mean, I guess they could call prosecutions that <laughs> offense attorneys. Because <laughs> that's what they are, right. technically. I guess not. Uh, now then. Are you ready? No, I've done no investigation. I have no idea what's going I, on let's here. Let's see, because I wanted to say no. Let's see what we get. Um, what if I said no? Would that be okay? Of course it would. Then why bother asking me to begin with? Like, what the fuck? Actually, you see, Your Honor, my memory is kind of... The courts will not hear the defense's excuses. Because the defendant is a member of the police, this case is under great scrutiny. Therefore, we must make this trial fair but swift. I believe I have told you this before. I hope you're not telling me you've forgotten. Actually, yeah, I have. But uh, I can't tell you that again. Mr. Page. Your opening statement, please. Yes, Your Honor. As I'm sure you're well aware, the defendant is accused of killing her lover. What's worse, her lover was a fellow police officer. A policeman? You did what to a policeman? No, you're my defense, ass. What's it mean? Besides, Dustin and I, we were Lovers like that? Question marks? Because even here it says yours. Lovers like that. I guess Boston. they weren't getting it on. Is that what that means? Maybe they weren't dating at all. And in any case, oh, sorry. In any case, the prosecution will prove that the guilty party is none other than the defendant. Very well. Mr. Payne. Please call your first witness. Hehehe. <laughs> it's been a while, Mr. Wright. Let's see what you've learned since last time. If, Phoenix have you not heard of me? Phoenix right away, like, what the fuck are you? <laughs> Can right. I help you? I won't show you any mercy this time, rookie. I've taken down people larger than you. Oh. Hey, who are you again? I love how he's not even intimidated in the face of like they out there challenging him. He like and I man, he doesn't know who they are. He has no, he doesn't know he doesn't have any basis for. But fear. some people would be nervous, like oh shit, I'm in this situation. I don't know what's going on. And he out there like I, I guess this is life. I guess this is what I do. The prosecution calls Detective Dick Gumshoe to the stand. Don't let me down, Mr. Wright. Nowhere to hide. I'm so dead. Witness, please state your name and occupation. Their voice is similar. Yes, it is. My name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. You don't look, sorry, you don't look very well, Detective. Well, sir, the defendant, she works under me, so you know. You work under that detective? Sir, and while I was a trainee, he was always watching out for me, sir. He's such a wonderful guy, sir. I'll never forget what he's done for me. Okay, calm down, I believe you. Detective Gumshoe. Please describe for us the details of this murder. Hmm. Yes, sir. It happened at the park near our headquarters, Exposé Park. Okay, interesting way to put it. The victim was one of the local cops, Dustin Prince. He was pushed down from the benches on the upper path, sir. The landing beat his body up bad and snapped his neck. 
The details are listed in the report that was dis distributed yesterday. And how he talks? Did you change voices? I probably am. Yeah, yeah. I, it's gonna happen. Y'all will not get a consistent voice from me. Don't expect it. <laughs> You've been pretty consistent <laughs> on some people, yes, but <laughs> others like Pain, who only shows up at Once the beginning of the beginning game. Of the game. <laughs> They're not going to get it. Ah, yes. This autopsy report, correct? Why do I not remember getting a copy? I see everything's. I see everything's in order here. <clears throat> Even the estimated time of death is unusually well documented. That's a problem that it's usually not well documented. I mean, are you saying the estimations are like usually way off or like... Uh, I'm questioning the fact that they're not usually well done. The victim watch... The victim's watch stop... Oh, here we go with the time stuff again. The victim's watch stop from the impact of the landing, sir. The results of the autopsy confirm the time of death. If I may, your honor, the prosecution would like to submit this photograph. Very well. The court accepts it into evidence. A hey, crime photo number one. Now then, I recall in yesterday's preliminary, preliminary hearing, we have those now, a very important piece of evidence was brought to our attention. Yes, your honor. Yes, sir. Yes, I guess. Mr. Wright, is your head on right today? No, it's on left. Hey. <laughs> Shut up. There was a very crucial piece of evidence found under the victim's body. His glasses? Um, was there? You lost your mind! Yes. Well... Actually, I did say. Um, it's just nerves. Give me a second. What? How can you talk like such an amateur? I thought you were a pro, sir. This guy is a real pro. Right, sir. I'll help you through this. At a time like this, maybe you want to take a glance at the court record. Court record? about evidence and people involved with this case are all listed there, sir. You can press the court record by pressing tab. Alright! Like <laughs> <Right. laughs> <Right. laughs> tab, huh? <laughs> you really know what you're talking about, don't you? It's too bad of a cop, right? Just think, I could totally be a legal aid instead. You could. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? Court is in session. Save your chit chat for later. We have a so different sorry, judge. Your Honor. Well, I guess I'd better check the court record and see what I can find. What was it again? Tab? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Mr. Wright. Let's see if your notes are in order. Do I ever take notes? What was the piece of evidence found underneath the victim's body? Now, if I remember correctly, because we looked at this beforehand, Glass. it was the glasses, but I do want to see what this picture has to say. It looks like he wrote something in the sand already. Mm -hmm. I, I can see that just from his finger being pressed like that and then a little bit of something on the ground there. I didn't see it the first time, but I see it. I also see the time of the clock. So that might be different from the time that's on his watch. This is a prelim detective thinking, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm the detective here. She's the scientist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know underneath the victim's body. Nearsighted. Remember that. That might be useful too. He's nearsighted. That's simple, Your Honor. A broken pair of glasses. That's right. The victim grabbed his... The victim grabbed his killer's glasses as he was shoved, as he was being shoved, sir. And held onto them as he fell. Okay, so they're the, vic uh, the killer's glasses. Got it. Well, she has her glasses on, so, uh... Maybe she got new glasses. Well, I don't... That's what they can say in response. They that. could, but, like, most people don't have two pairs of glasses. 
you ain't got two pairs. I know, of I know a lot of people who wear glasses. Most people don't have two pairs of glasses. Are you sure you don't know a whole lot of rich people? These people with money got two pairs of glasses. Bet money they don't. Bet money they got <laughs> one pair of glasses and a pair of contacts. Okay. Bet. All they right. probably just wear contacts, for real. Right. But. Hey, why are you giving me the evil eye? Those glasses you wear. Yes, this is my spare pair. Damn it! Look at you. You fucked it up. But these glasses they got at the scene of the crime are not mine! I swear, sir. Get you me sure here. sure about that? Skip me one more goddamn time. I'm getting skippy. Please. Oh, this is just No, cause see who I am. <laughs> Look, it was a coincidence that on that same day I accidentally stepped on mine. A coincidence, she says. Ugh. <laughs> Your Honor, I have further evidence to present. Oh, you have more. And this evidence is very decisive. Okay, I'm like... <laughs> very well. Let us hear from our witness about this evidence. Ah, oh, testimony. Decisive evidence. There's something even more incriminating than the, the glasses under the victim's body, sir. During his date, the victim was pushed from the bench area, but he managed to write the culprit's name on the ground where he landed. Bullshit. I don't like saying it, but we were right, he wrote something. No! Mm hmm It's already a lie. Because that's not how you spell her right, name. Right, that's not how you spell her name. Why would he be dating her? Why would he yeah, be well, dating her and he don't know how to spell, spell Maggie? Name. Or maybe they weren't really dating. Like but said. so what though? If they was working together and they was close enough to know each other's names. But yeah, she has a point about him writing it incorrectly. I don't like saying it, but it was clearly the defendant's name, Maggie, sir. That means he don't know her name. Probably. With this piece of evidence and the glasses, it's not hard to say she's the culprit. That is fair to say, though. I will let you say that. However, there's a hole in it. This picture of the right. This is a picture of the writing, Your Honor. Why, this is wrong. Right, like. Yes, I can see her name is clearly written there. He yeah. out there ready to die, and he out there doing swirly swirls and shit on. Okay. Hey, you got fancy hair, right? The prosecution would like to submit this picture. Understood. The court accepts it into evidence. Crime photo number two. Add to the court right. As if the glasses alone didn't make you look suspicious. The victim even wrote your name clear as day on the ground. I already told you, those glasses aren't mine. And that's not how you spell my fucking name. <laughs> and how do you explain his dying message? Conspiracy! I'm guilty, sir! Mr. Wright, you may cross examine the witness. What's that? Cross examine? I knew he was going. I mean, to be fair. <laughs> Is this it? I'm counting on you! Well, now we know he doesn't remember his law. Sure. But what am I supposed to do? What? This isn't like you at all! I'm glad you know. Normally, this <laughs> I'm getting their faces and do what? You know, you know, go over from his stand and be like, now look here. <laughs> look here, gumshoe. <laughs> Is there no way around it? Okay, I'm gonna lend you a hand. The prosecution's witnesses all hide things from the court. Which means they lie from time to time. Which is perjury. Bye. But isn't that detective your superior? Yes, but God bless his soul. Mm -hmm. He's not all that smart. Well, even if they don't mean a lie, sometimes people just remember things wrong. Also fair. Hmm. Like the detective. He does sort of look like a scatterbrain. It doesn't matter. No way it's bad for us, sir. 
That's why when you question witnesses, you have to find and expose their lies. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Can I fucking help you, sir? You yes, Your Honor. He said he wanted it to get finished fast. So what? I gotta think. Talk about trial by trial by fire. Here goes nothing. He still's got his wits. He's got his wit quips. It quip, just quip quick wits. It's almost just funny because it's like literally anybody with no law experience can face off against the fucking prosecution in this country, clearly. Pain, at least. Not as worth. Yeah, you right. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be hammered can, into the ground. Uh, expose the lies. We should be alright. Wait, what was... And before we expose those lies... That is the end of the episode. It was kind of a good time. It was like perfect time. That was on point. All right. So we will see you in the next one. And by in the next one, I mean we're going to keep recording and it'll be put up at another time. That's how it works. That's how people record things. So when you see us in the same clothes, it's the same day. With the same exact. So don't get it twisted. Okay. <laughs> anyway, but to actually do the ending... This has been Key and T Solves Mysteries. My name's Kiba, aka the Keyblade Assassin. This is T, Miss T. We will be solving all of your mysteries. And if you have a game that has a mystery that you want us to solve, go ahead and go ahead and uh, put it in the comments below, and we'll try to play it. But right now, we're going through this series. So yeah. Anyway, we'll see you next time on Key and T Solves Mysteries, hosted by Critical Zone. We love you. We thank you. And as always. How did you wait it till I yawn? Keep it critical. All right. <laughs> You're childish. <laughs>